What's up everyone, Bando here with another video of mine and today is a very special day because we are going to be building the FT Explorer VTOL or VTOL Explorer, whatever you wanna call it. Anyways, a VTOL is, stands for a vertical takeoff of landing if you do not know. So basically, you can imagine it, the vertical takeoff so a normal race drone just flies up and then they can also transition into forward flight so it can fly straight like this, like a nice and little plane. And basically we're gonna be building that based off of the FT Explorer design. Here is the Explorer right here, this big thing. And can, the, wing, the wings do attach. So it looks something like this. This is how the FT Explorer looks like. And yeah, it's a very nice trainer plane. So basically you have your wing and then you have, to, you have the Explorer core, which is this individual piece right here. And Basically, the VTOL, all we're gonna do is build the default, um, or normal, we're not gonna modify the Explorer core, we're just gonna build it normally. So I'm not gonna include that portion in this build video because all you have to do is follow the flight test build video of the Explorer of how to build that. So I already have that built right here. This is my, the Explorer core for the VTOL. As you can see, there's some slight modifications, which I'll get into. But before we do so, let's just go ahead and talk about all the parts that are going to be needed for this. So the first thing that you will need is an FD Explorer speed build kit. That's only if you want to like increase the speed of building it. So you can either get the kit or you can scratch build it. So. And eventually you're going to have another part of it. Um, you're going to need to buy a box of flight test foam board. So another thing you'll need is the power pack D, which is like the standard quadcopter pack. So I sort of have it here. It looks better in the box. Here's a nice little photo of how it looks like. Okay. Um, and, and then next you'll need a power pack C, which will be used for the Ford flight, which is this guy right here. So I have the Power Pack C motor in here and the ESC inside the FD Explorer core already. And the Power Pack D, the standard quadcopter Power Pack will be used for the vertical takeoff. So this is, it's gonna include the four motors that are gonna take off um, the aircraft upwards like a normal drone. And then another thing you'll need is the FD Element Simple Firewall. They come in something like this. I already have mines pre-built. If you are scratch building it, then you have to buy five of these because you need one of them for the forward flight one. But if you were buying the speed build kit, it already comes, the FD Element Simple Firewall already comes um, with a kit. Another thing you need are, you're going to need multiple female XC60 connectors, and that is going to be needed for this power circuit board right here and that's what's going to distribute all the power to your four your five ESCs one for the sorry one for the Ford flight the power pack C and four for the vertical by the way this is actually designed by uh Randy St. Clair who's like really popular in creating VTOLs so he actually created a forum and a, this huge really nice instructions if you want to go through that but I thought I wanted to make a video just to document my builds as well as I wanted to um, share some tips and tricks. But anyways, yeah, link in the description below of his instructions and his forum thread. Um, you're gonna need some bullet connectors, 3.5 millimeter. That will be used for these little, um, what do you call it? I mean, sorry. That will be used for the extensions for the motors. So you can see you have these extensions. And then you're going to need a battery, a 3300 milliamp 3S uh, Turnigy Nanotech battery, really any 3300 bat uh, battery will work. You can use a 300, a 3300, 3000 milliamp, oh my gosh, whatever. And then you're going to need a KK2, which is this guy right over here. So you're gonna need the KK2 board that is going to be used for the flight controller. And then you're, it says you need a S-Bus connection cable, which I actually created one. Let me get it. I actually made my own right here. Focus. Yeah, so this, this I already actually made my own cable. So I'll show you a link in the description of a tutorial 
that I found online where you can make one of these and that's going to be because S bus is like inverted for some reason and you're going to need to um, uninvert it I guess um, so it can communicate with the KK2 and then going down you're going to need a US ASP AVR programming device for at mill processors and my I got mine off of Hobby King you're going to need this little device right here focus this is going to be used for your programming the because you're going you're not going to have to actually use this often for programming the actual kk2 because you can do that using the buttons but you're going to need this for uh, mounting i mean sorry flashing the kk2 with open arrow vtol which is the firmware created by happy sundays and randy st Clair. And it's basically a firmware that you can upload or flash onto the KK2 that allows you to program VTOL vehicles. And it makes it very easy and simple. So you're going to need that. So you got amazing goop in here. You can buy this off of Amazon. It's really cheap. It's like, actually it's $8, but it comes with a lot. You're going to need that just to create the, uh, this guy right here, the circuit distribution board. But yeah, you're going to need that to cover all the wires because you don't want to short. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Another thing you can have is you can add decorations like stickers, flight test stickers, um, colorful tape, that kind of thing. And, oh, whoops, I forgot. You'll For these extensions, you'll need your own. You'll need 17 feet of 18 gauge wire. So this is for the extensions. And you're also going to need um, one foot of 12 gauge wire. It is used for this little guy and to power, so you can power all of the ESCs through one port aka your battery anyways that is pretty much it for the parts another thing i've added is this mini lipo voltage sensor in this little bag here um this is because i am using fr sky you can use smart port telemetry through um the x4 rsb and you can just plug in the balance port through these cables right here and you can get the voltage off, you can actually see the voltage live on your transmitter so that way you don't have to be constantly waiting to hear that buzzer or that timer that's going to go off. While we're talking about receivers, you can actually use any receiver you want. I just like using SBUS because it's like the fastest besides Crossfire, I guess, but like that's way too expensive. So yeah, why am I holding this? Oh yeah, this uses, S, um, this uses SBUS. Um, PPM works, PWM works, everything works on the KK2, which is like a really cool feature that it has. But if you are running SBUS, you might need a cable or do some special soldering. So this project does involve a lot of soldering, so you're gonna have to learn how to use that. And yeah, that's gonna be it for part one of my VTOL Explorer video, build video. Um, yeah, part one is just talking about all the parts and like sort of the introduction of my new project I'm going to be working on. But um, after that, yeah, next part we'll go over, we'll actually be building um, the actual part of the VTOL. But yeah, you can expect to see that in the next few days slash weeks, depending on how fast I can build the darn thing and edit it. So yeah, be look, look forward to that. So like and subscribe and peace.